Hi there, Tisha Mahar back with you guys and this video is coming at you actually from the airport in Austria and um, I'm just en route back to the UAE. I'm currently, for those of you who didn't know um, from my previous videos, I'm currently traveling the globe, working abroad and um, so videos coming at you from all different countries, all different cities. So for this particular video, everybody, I really want to talk to you about something that I'm planning to do for the month of February. And the reason I want to talk to you about this is because I think it would be an awesome thing for you to try to. Um, so basically what it is, is a stress detox. Now, this is really different than your standard detox or cleanse where you make a big list or plan for all the things that you're going to give up. This is totally different than that. This is not about deprivation in any way. On my website, I'll, I sell a program called the Love Thyself Cleanse. And this program is all about embracing um, clean foods as a way of detoxing your body, but as a way of expressing or showing yourself love and appreciation. So similarly, my stress detox that I'm about to do, I am creating based on the same premises. So how many ways this month can I love myself into alignment instead of forcing myself or depriving myself in order to get to my goals? So for example, I've noticed that in the last two years, um, I've been feeling so much more stress. Um, and it's not really necessary. A lot of it is stuff that I'm creating because of pressure that I'm putting on myself about you know, things that I want to do and things that I want to achieve and where I feel like I've fallen short. And um, with regards to my business, I feel like I haven't been putting as much content out and I've been really hard on myself about that. And really what's been going on with me is that I've been in a bit of a spiritual crisis, a quarter life crisis perhaps. And I've been really working through a lot of emotional stuff from way back and feel like I've come a long way, but I need to recognize that, you know, that time needed to happen in order that I can get to where that I, where I want to go. So the main thing about this is being gentle with yourself. So loving yourself into alignment. My whole mandate or my whole philosophy is alignment is everything. So when you get into that place of flow, when you get into your zone, when you get into that place where you are your most authentic you, that's when everything starts to flow and all the things that you really want and desire and that are right for you will naturally come. So the number one way that I have found that I get into that place is through meditation. So if you don't yet meditate this month, join me and do a stress detox, do a love yourself cleanse, um, create your own. So if you don't yet meditate, I want to challenge you to start meditating this month. Um, it could be even just a guided meditation on YouTube. You can just punch it in morning meditation or evening meditation or whenever you want to do it. Take 15 minutes a day and quiet your mind because when your mind goes quiet, your real inner self and that true voice that is you will speak louder. And at first when you hear that, it might be like, mm, yeah, right, but it really is true. So trust me on this, 15 minutes a day for the month of February if you have not yet explored meditation. Beyond that, look at um, other ways that you can show your body love not maybe through doing intense workouts. I've been finding lately that I'm just not recovering as well from my intense workouts. This has been since I moved into my 30s, actually. It's like my body is just asking me to be gentler because I'm, you know, maybe at that peak of fertility or whatever. So I'm really embracing walking and gentle yoga and not feeling the need to like push myself through these hit workouts and those kinds of things. I'm trying to not chase that adrenaline rush, for example, and instead really just focus on relaxing to feel good. So this might be something that resonates for you. If you push yourself a lot for one month, try doing more restorative and rejuvenating exercises and just see how that lands on you. See how that benefits you. So that's another thing. Meditation, work on your mind, body, 
look at your exercise program and look at where you might be able to um, soften things that way. With regards to your diet, this is the other big one. Really embrace a month of giving your body the best quality food you can get your hands on, whatever that means. If you don't have access to really good vegetables, you know, get really good quality eggs or meat or whatever it is that you eat. Um, best quality food you can find. That's going to be the most bang for your buck in terms of nutrition. So find the best quality food you can find. And look at what else might be a little bit wonky in your diet. Is there any food, for example, that you use to compensate for misalignment? So if you're having a bad day, if you're grumpy, if you're feeling sad, is there something that you go to over and over? Caffeine, chocolate, bread, carbs, what's your thing? So take a look at that. And when you feel those moments where you feel down or sad, what can you do in that moment to make yourself feel better? That doesn't involve filling that hole with a, a food item. So you might you know, lay down on the floor and take some deep breaths. You might do some back bends. Maybe for you it means going for a walk or listening to something inspiring on your iPod. Uh, iPod. Um, really try to not fill the hole with an item. Instead, again, look for that alignment from within. Everything you need is truly within you. You need nothing. So keep that in mind. That might be a good mantra to use. Um, yeah, so look at your diet. For me personally, for this month, I'm going to focus on only whole foods. The odd process thing has been sneaking into my diet lately. Um, and so I'm going to really clean things up, tighten it up. So whole foods for my body only for February, really nourish my cells, and um, I'm going to stay away from coffee for the month of February. I love cappuccinos made with almond milk, and they've been, again, becoming a little bit more frequent than I think is truly good for me, if I was to be honest about that. So I'm gonna really have uh, focus on leaving that out for one month at least, not saying I'm never gonna have it again, I'm not gonna do that to myself, I love them, but at least for February, I'm going to have green teas. Um, chocolate is another thing. It's been just sneaking in a little bit too frequently, so I'm going to do you know, a once a week thing for now, having a little bit of dark chocolate as opposed to, again, every day, because I personally think that chocolate is more, you know, it's sort of a treat food. I don't think it's something necessarily that should be in the diet every single day, even though I want it to be. So honoring whatever is true for you is what this is all about, guys. That might look different. So what I would suggest when you're creating your stress detox, look at mind. What are you doing for your mind that's helpful? What are you doing that's not helpful? Again, adding in meditation would probably be huge. What are you doing that's not helpful? Are you thinking some repetitive thought that isn't serving you? Focus on stopping that. Are you watching YouTube videos that are stressing you out. Maybe, you know, some kind of, maybe somebody that you follow stresses you out a bit and makes you feel like you should do something that, you know, doesn't feel authentic for you. Stop watching that person. Um, if that's me, stop watching me. If, um, uh, if there's something you're reading, that isn't serving you. Maybe you're looking at fitness magazines all the time and that's creating some kind of pressure inside of you to be like the people in the picture. So look at your mind. What are you doing that isn't serving your mind? What can you do to help your mind? Okay, that's number one. Look at your body, your exercise and your food. Um, you know, uh, diet again. Look at what's working, what's not working and really be honest with yourself about that and look at your exercise. Are you pushing yourself more than maybe is serving you? Is there a compensation happening? Every time you work out really hard, do you then find that you're binging on, on shit food or something? Um, that kind of thing is a sign that what you're doing isn't working. If there's a compensate, uh, compensate, you know what I mean, compensation behavior, compensatory, whatever, um, behavior happening, then that's a sign. So be honest about that. And then the third thing is spirit. I haven't really mentioned that yet. What are you doing for your spirit, for your soul? This could be, again, meditation. This could be, um, you know, 
you know, massage if that helps you really like relax. This could be journaling. So mind, body, spirit. For one month, do as much as you can for those three faucets. And I guarantee you, you will emerge into the month of March with um, more alignment, more peace within yourself, more acceptance for yourself. So don't look at what you are taking away. Look at what you can add in, what you can bring in, because you are worth it. And that's what you need to know today. So thanks for watching. As always, you guys, if you want to follow me, um, visit my Facebook page, Tisha Mahar and the Home of Living Live. This might soon be changing to tishamahar.com if I can um, successfully do that. I'm looking into talking to the Facebook people to see if I can change the name um, because I would like to just go with that from now on. Um, Tishamahar.com again is my website so you can visit me there. You can send me a message there. Lots of videos coming at you guys in the next few months. Now that I'm on the road I have a lot more time. So tons of content coming your way. More yoga um, and uh, recipes and things like that. So stay in touch, stay connected, and again, have a great day and good luck with your stress detox. Plan it out. If you need help with this, I can help you do that as well. So we could do a consultation on Skype and I could help you design the perfect program from you for you, really tapping into all of these different things and asking you questions about yourself in order to do this. So lots of options. Um, talk to you soon, guys. Bye.